Today we're going to check out how to make this graffiti text effect here in Photoshop. I'm going to create a new document. This is going to be the size. Uncheck the artboard, click create, select the type tool, scale it up. And from here I'm going to create a box. I'm going to select the rectangle, create a rectangle around the text. Press and hold control, click on the text thumbnail here. Click on it, it's going to highlight the text. Go to select, invert and click on the rectangle. Let's select the mask. Now it's going to mask it, uncheck the text. Now I'm going to cut the letters in pieces. So it's going to recreate that stencil text effect. I'm going to go and click on a new layer, select the marquee tool, create rectangle like this. Let's select the paint bucket tool, click, fill it with black, press control D to deselect and just drag it here, press control T and rotate and fit it where the letter is. Press and hold alt, drag it to duplicate and do the same with the other letters as well. From here, let's go and select the rectangle, press and hold shift, select all the layers with the lines, right click, go to convert smart object. Now let's go to the filter, blur. Let's select the Gaussian blur and I'm gonna increase the blur to be a little bit more blurry, something like this. Click okay. And now I'm gonna double click here on the layer Go to the color overlay, check it, make sure to be on the white, increase the opacity to 100% and also check the drop shadow and increase the opacity to 100%, decrease the distance to zero, spread is gonna be one, increase the size pretty high and click OK. Now we're gonna go to the filter, let's go to blur gallery, select field blur and bring this here to the end here. I'm gonna also add one here and decrease the blur and also at the ending and dec decrease the blur and I'm gonna increase on the right one the blur, something like this. I'm gonna bring it out. I also gonna add one to the bottom and it's gonna look something like this. Click OK. By the way, you can add some grain from the drop shadow. You can double click on the drop shadow here and increase the noise. Mine is on two. You can increase it more, for example, on five, six. Click OK. Let's go to the adjustments. I'm going to select the level and increase the left side to add some contrast. And I'm going to select all the layers in here. Right click, convert to smart object. Let's go to the filter, click on noise, add noise. Make sure to check the monochrome and increase the amount. Click OK. Drag the layer to this little plus to duplicate. Let's go to the filter, filter gallery and select the torn edges. I increase the values all the way up. So you can see if you decrease it, it's going to disappear this little spray effect. If you decrease it, it's gonna add more. And you got the smoothness. I also increase that all the way to 100%. So it's gonna look like the spray effect. And you also got the contrast. This is also on high. If you increase it more, you're gonna see these little white dots in there. I gotta go like this, click OK. Now this is too strong, so I'm gonna need to change the blend mode. So I gotta go from normal to, you can go also with overlay, but I'm gonna go with soft light. So it's gonna look a li little bit more realistic. And not but least, I'm gonna drag and drop a concrete texture and I'm gonna scale it up and let's change up the blend mode. I gotta go with multiply and I also gonna decrease the opacity a little bit more. And I also wanna add more grain on the spray effect. And I'm gonna choose another texture, which does include these little grains, change up the blend mode, I'm gonna go with, you can check out linear dodge, light color, or even difference or exclusion. I gotta go with difference. And this is how you make this spray text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.